Welcome to Coscaro Space. On this video, we're going to be discussing about the SR-71 Blackbird. This SR-71 Blackbird was a reconnaissance aircraft which was designed by an engineer by the name Kelly Johnson. Kelly Johnson worked for the Lockheed Skunkworks team. He was the head of the team and they designed the, most of the aircrafts that were developed by the Skunkworks team. Uh, this included the U-2 spy plane, which was later on shot down over the Soviet Union. And uh, this led majorly to the design of the SR-71 Blackbird with the better specifications uh, in terms of speed and altitude. Uh, the SR-71 was able to fly at uh, Mach 3.2. Uh, this was a very high speed, which was which enabled it to outrun most of the surface-to-air missiles that were fired at it as it flew over the Soviet Union. The aircraft also flew at an altitude of well above 85,000 feet. This altitude uh, was good enough to evade most of the surface-to-air missiles and uh, most of the interceptor aircraft which tried to reach the SS-71 Blackbird as it flew over the Soviet Union. Uh, here I have a model. This is a 3D printed model of the SS-71 Blackbird. Uh, it's a scale model of 1 to 165. Uh, this is uh, 3D printed by the Ender 3 V2 and uh, it's uh, made of the of a PTG material. This is a, this is a, a good representation of the aircraft and uh, it will help a lot in understanding the profile of the aircraft. Uh, as you can see the aircraft is made, it's quite pointed, it has uh, aerodynamic chains on the sides. Uh, the engines have two pointed ends. These are aerodynamic spikes which moved uh, fore and aft at uh, various speeds. And the aircraft has two engines. Uh, these are the J58 engines and uh, also it's uh, after burning capable. Uh, these engines are turbo ramjets, that is uh, the combination of a turbo jet and a ramjet. At uh, speeds up to Mark II, the engine operated as an conventional turbo jet and as, as it advanced to 2.5, most of the functions of the turbo jet at the core were shut down and uh, most of the airflow was bypassed to the after burning section. And from this point on, the compression mainly was done by uh, ramp compression, that is, um, as the aircraft advanced forward, uh, the airflow impacting the intake of the engine compressed due to the high speed of the aircraft and uh, the compression was enough to to supply the needs of the combustion of the four and the afterburner cooperation. Uh, the aircraft accommodated two persons, that is uh, the pilot and the RSO. And uh, the aircraft also had a very powerful uh, cameras which were able to to take uh, photos and videos of the areas that it was spying on. Uh, this aircraft had uh, two radar surfaces at the, at the half end and uh, it was made majorly of titanium. Uh, this titanium was uh, sourced from the Soviet Union by the CIA uh, via some shadow companies and uh, later, later on is when could have realized that the, the Soviet Union was able to realize that uh, the titanium came from the plants in the Soviet Union. Uh, thank you so much for those who have subscribed to this channel and uh, for those who have not subscribed I uh, encourage you to subscribe so that you can be able to access more of the videos and uh, be able to and uh, put this channel to more persons interested in aerospace and aviation.